and he calmed the storm. God, if you hold on to Christ as your anchor in the middle of the storm, he promises in his word, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Lo, I am with you always. Ye go, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So in the midst of trials and storms of your life, grab a hold onto the anchor of your soul. And as you begin to grab onto the, you're in that secret place that's talking about the inner sanctuary. Yes. What is the inner sanctuary? The inner sanctuary is when Jesus, through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the veil was ripped and torn, and we have access to the holies of holies. We have access to the secret place, and we are the inner sanctuary. The Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we take ourselves into that place, the secret place. Have you ever been in a secret place? Hallelujah. And even though your soul is drained with depression, fear, anxiety, brokenness, and hurt, you go in behind the veil. You go in behind that the veil under the secret place. Amen. And God give you one rainbow word. God give you one revelatory word. And he lets you know. All things are working together for my own. To them that love me, to them that are called according to my purpose. He begins to speak a rainbow word in your spirit, and you're able to get up and dry your eyes and keep walking the walk, stepping out in faith and walking the walk of faith. Come on, somebody. Because you've gone into that secret place. And God has given you a word. Peace be still and know that I am God. Fear not, daughter. For I am with you. Be not afraid. For I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And I will strengthen you for the storm. Hello, somebody. So when we go to that secret place, that's what the Hebrew writer was saying. Go to that secret place with God. Activate your faith. And go into that secret place with the Lord. And he will refresh your spirit. And he will align your soul, man, with your spirit, man. Because your, your, your anchor is Jesus Christ. Right, right. His word is your anchor in the, t in the midst of storms. Amen? Amen? And all the time, God doesn't always stop the storm. That's right. That's right. Sometimes he allows the storm. Yes. Like he did in, for the disciples. Because it was a test of their faith. Wow. It was a test of their faith. He allowed the storm to see how they would respond in the middle of a storm. He wanted them to know. He wanted to reveal to them he was the good shepherd. Amen. He wanted to reveal to him his character. That he was the Messiah. Come on. Hello, Hello somebody. Yeah. Sometimes in the midst of storms, we won't discover who God is until we're in that middle of that storm. Yeah. And he becomes the anchor yes. to our soul. Yes. Carrying us through. He's the good shepherd. Amen. He's the alpha and the omega. Yes. My word for you today, beloved ladies, is hold on to the anchor. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes. Who is the hope of glory. He is the door of hope. <laughs> he is the door of hope. And he is the hope of glory in the midst of the storms of life. Amen. 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 Let be angry.